The main known to Zimbabwe music history is James Mombe was born in 1951 in Chivu and grew up in the identity suburbs of Harare. He was a vocalist, he was a composer, and he was a rhythm guitarist. And James Mombe was also a music teacher. He learned at the Zimbabwe College of Music and even taught there as well in the 90s. On. But unfortunately, on the 23rd of October 1990, he passed away and left a huge uh, musical legacy. So James Mombe's career started with the OK success in the 80s, and uh, his first hit was Jojo Mdiwa Wangu. Although the song was credited to the band, not to him directly, but that was his first hit. But his career really blossomed when he joined the Ocean City Band uh, mid-80s. The Ocean City Band was a band led by Mdara Phillips, so he's still around. And um, they had left Mkadota's uh, camp, or they started working on their own. And uh, James Shimondo was impressed by their playing as a band and he joined the band. And their combination really worked. You know how it is with the combination is very important. So their combination really worked and that's when they released some of his biggest hits. James Shimondo had a number of uh, grooves that he used. And um, this included um, that GT groove, the one he used on a number of songs like Wana Muchiti Tigere. And then the Sicilia Bindura groove, that slow beat groove, rare, um, Repa Sicilia, rare. he had a number of songs in that groove as well. Steve Kekana even covered Sicilia, one of his songs. And he also had a number of songs which were ballads. My ballads and music are soft, yeah. And uh, he had songs like Kuda Kwashe, and a number of songs that had a ballad feel. And um, he also had this groove, Young Energy Soka, so Soka Drum. And uh, he had a number of my songs I get on my hits, if you remember this. He also made use of the Mbira groove, that 6 8 Mbira groove in the Mbakumba feel. Those are the four that he mainly used. He was a rhythm guitarist, like I mentioned before, and uh, I think that was the reason why his rhythm guitar was uh, very well played and very well defined. He had a number of songs that had a Mbira feel, and he had a number of songs that had a GT feel, but the sound was uh, very different from everybody else, because one of his principal instruments was the keyboard, that organ sound that played very beautiful melodies. In most Zimbabwean music, the lead guitar is the principal instrument, but with James Mombe, it was the organ as well as the brass section. He mainly used uh, the lower register. Was, uh, that was a typical James Mombe rhythm guitar style. It was not sungura. It was sort of like uh, he was playing an acoustic guitar, but on an electric guitar. For the lead guitar, especially with the Ocean City Band, I think they favored uh, my sixth a lot and my eighth like... Uh, these are what we call my sixth kuma guitar, as well as, well as my eighth. These are called my eight because the distance between this note and this note is eight notes, like um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, that's some technical stuff, but uh, I just thought I should mention it. And then, of course, the, the brass section that was arranged by Mdara Sose and uh, everything else. One thing that was very unique about his music is that uh, most of his songs did not have uh, big focus, a number of his songs. Of course, he had some songs that did big focus, but they were very minimal. Okay, like I always say, so we need to jam. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to do another reverse engineered plagiarism. So enjoy.
Studio, the harmony of quality and professionalism.